Two women were walking by and one of them I overheard said, it's almost like he doesn't want us to look at it. Something happens and maybe it is the process itself that tends to create a wall a bit between the viewer and the image. There's something that happens. Maybe it's the materiality of the graphite. I had another friend seeing one recently comment the same way. He's like, you're doing something with the picture plane or what's happening there. It begins with just a really unremarkable point-and-shoot camera and an original digital image, at least thus far, it's what I've used as source images. And then it's prepared for what becomes a film positive, which is all standard stuff to making a silkscreen. And from there, you know, I put the paper on the screen, you know, just again, classic printmaking with silkscreen. But normally where ink is put onto the, the bed of the screen and pulled down with a squeegee, in my process, that's where it starts to become not traditional printmaking and not traditional silk screening. I already need there to be really just no gap there. So that's what you see, all the concrete blocks. Because when I was first doing it, if anything was uneven, I didn't know what was going to happen when I lifted up the screen. I needed weight, and that had to be as flat and like pressed to the paper as I could make it. From there, I have pantyhose, actually. They, they actually are perfect, because the graphite goes into the pantyhose, and it holds it just enough, but allows it to break through there. And then those sacks are just sort of rubbed over the image. The process is a blind process throughout. It's very strange. Like, I can almost never see what I'm doing. I never lose that element of uncertainty, because I just don't know you know, I think I'm working here or there, but it's always, when it finally comes up, I'm not sure what happened or quite why or what was missed or there's too many variables. I think the beauty is that there is a real lack of clarity. You know, it's a real, there's a real value to that. And part of me always, amidst all this, always wants to almost just simply retract everything and let the, the image and all of its elusiveness and mystery and dial it just exist on its own.